Hello everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are playing some more Divinity Original Sin. And we are going to move on with the game. <coughs> We're going to move on to Act 2 now. Actually, hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. Who has... Is that right there? Yeah. That's a lot of damage just for one target. Only has it two. You know what? Do I have multiple of that? I only have one. Okay. Um. Skills, geomancy. Okay, yeah, I kind of want that on all of them. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I need to find where that is. I think it's... Uh... Arhu? I think... I think it's Arhu, right? That has it. Did it sprout legs and run away? Ah, there it is. Miss. Blocked, blocked. So let's go to Arhu and see if he has that ability. Because even though it's single target, we can use that. You don't think it's infected, do you? Come on now, I pulled her off you before she could do any real damage. Even if it doesn't poison, we can still use it. This will be quite handy. Especially as an opener. Like, all four of them using it on their first turn. How can I help you, Oh, my yeah, 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 here it is. What does this do? Immune to petrification. Yeah, I want that. Oh, is that for everyone? No, just self or one other ally. Not worth it then. Fortify. Nope. Bless. Bless a target. Nope. I kind of want some Act 2 abilities. If there's anything like that at all. Alright, so now. Split. Oh, we don't have enough. Really? Oh, I didn't actually, um. Okay. Send to her, and then we do this. And now they both have it. Cool. Excellent. Because even though it doesn't poison all the time, or at all because of, you know, being immune, that's still a lot of damage right off the gate. You don't think it's infected, do you? Come on now, I pulled her off you before she could do any real damage. Alright, so now let's head north. Or whatever that direction is. Um, north, east. Yeah, north, east or whatever, yeah. Actually, no, we can just do this, can't we? What am I doing? I can just do that. Um, which one is that one? Hold up. Silver Glen. There we go. And now we're here. I forgot I could do that in this game. Already. And I just started playing the game an hour ago. Whoopsie. Waypoint discovered. Oh, yay. A new map, too. Um, let's do this. Hail, Source Hunter. Good to see you've reached Lakula Forest. 
There were times when I came to this neck of the woods just to whiff its wholesome air. Alas, that it is thick with sorcery these days. Any... Self-immolation? Nah. Wildfire. Oh, yeah, no. I'll pass on that. Thank you very much. Actually, hold up. Soul to the man upstairs. And I don't need this one. I don't need this one. I don't need this one. I don't need those. I don't need this. And then sort. Done. It surrounds us here. Like an invisible mist. It takes cat's eyes to see it creep. Even so, it's <coughs> plain as day to the east, all about Ikara's cabin. Immaculates beset it, no doubt under Leandra's orders. If she has ordered such thorough defenses of her sister's cabin, we may be certain that whatever lies within will be a prize more precious than butter baked place. That means Ikara herself must be there, Hunter. And it is essential that you find her. Only she can shed light on the details of Leandra's plans. Ha! Zigzags would see you dash rather than mosey. But matters such as these require a thoughtful approach. Leandra and her cronies may be lunatics all, but they're far from brainless. So be wary, Hunter. And be safe. Log updated. Find the witch. Okay. I got no idea what's out here. Because it's been a while since I've played in this area. I like the music though, this is cool. Oh yeah, now I know why I'm using console controls. I don't have to press a damn button to keep that stuff showing. North Silver Glen. Okay, so we're actually oh, in Silver Glen. It seems he was eaten by a beast. Well, partially eaten, to be more precise. I want to go this way. What is that? I wonder. I want Pavilion of Death. Okay, I'm intrigued now. I want to go there. I'm intrigued now. I want to go there. I want to go check that out. I'm, 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 I'm curious now. I don't know why I bother to pick stuff up. I never, I never craft in this game. Because you have to learn the recipes. But whatever. Let's make a save. And then let's explore. Okay. Nothing up there yet. It's a beehive. Evil smelling flower. Well then, I know what to do. Oh, they're too far. Oh, and the hill. Oh, yeah. I love this game because of that, don't I? 
Yes. Yes. Uh, Bummerinos. Oh, yeah, the hill. Okay. Um, I guess I could move forward some because I don't have enough. Yeah, I'll move forward a little bit. Like, maybe. Where can I move? How far is one AP? Hold on. 2.6, okay. So I can move here for two, okay, and then... Oh yeah, we're gonna do this. Yeah, we're gonna do that one. Dang straight, buddy. Oh, she can move further. Oh, right? Yeah, she can move further. That's perfect. Oh, ice wall. Oh, I forgot I had that. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Oh, boy. What does she have equipped? Hold up. Uh, equipment. She does not have. Okay, fair enough. Let's go ahead and get Mr. Spooter. <coughs> what is your perfect? Can I go ahead and like do this, I wonder? I mean, I might as well just focus on her strength, right? But I might go to more con, because she's my tank. No, actually, um... Dexterity. This helps with... And it also influences defense rating. Okay. I could get her two-handed up, but is it really worth it? I mean, I don't know. Maybe. What about her man at arms? Yeah, I could do man at arms. Am I just going to like just pure defense? Yeah, I want to go into pure defense. Um. Her con I could go into. Or her speed. Yeah, her speed. I want to go into her speed. Uh, and then... Oh, I can't do it. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Um, uh, can she do bull rush? No, she cannot. Okay, that's fine. How much does that take? Four. Move up to here and then do bull rush. And try to hit like all of them if I can.
How is it blocked? Oh, they poison too. Oh crap, okay. I don't like that, but it is what it is. Whatever. It is what it is. Okay, um... Yeah, move him forward. Do you think you move far? Oh, bro, yeah. I'm going to get you. Let's just get you some more stuff as well. Um, more armor. Yeah. Yeah, more armor rating or... Never mind. Yeah, more armor rating for sure. And maybe more speed. That or... No. More health. Yeah, more health. <coughs> he needs more health. Oh, bro, dude. You can move far, and I like that. Uh, we're gonna do this one. And we're gonna do this one. Oh my god, he can move six? What? Dude, that is nasty. Raged. Ah, okay. 73 and crippled. Okay. 58. Okay. Two, three. Oil. Fair enough. 130. Poison fail, because he's already poisoned, that's why. Immune to poison. <laughs> Call me home. Target is too far. Fair enough. Well then. Maybe I shouldn't have done this, but I did. Oh well. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done this, but I did, and I kind of regret it now. Thunder jump. No, let's not do that one. Oh, that's only in the radius. Never mind then. Hundred three health. Oh. Not enough. Okay, so Medora is going to die here. But that's okay. Oh no, man, it at least poison as well. Can he get behind it? No, he can't. Oh no, dude. Um, so this is a bad fight. Um, 
Let's just do this if we can. Yeah. We'll let our, um, our spider bros handle this. What's with the angle? Why? Poisoned. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Ow. Ah. Resisted death. Oh, I love that about her. Two thousand XP. What? Immune. Oh, uh, that's fine. That's fine because I can just do this. Ding. Oh, and, 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 smack! <laughs> I really don't mind if my spiders get hurt because they're summons. Oh, I can't see the target. Uh, no, we're just gonna do this because of, um, reasons. What do you mean I can't see the target? Oh, and it heals from poisoning. Okay. Okay. Well, now we need water. Oh, oh, and because we're attacking with poison, <laughs> dude, this is great. Let's do this now. Makes it rain for 30 turns. <laughs> I mean, that's money. So is that. So is that. Oh, hey, money. And you know what? I don't care about that crap. Who cares? In the name of the goddess, halt! Who goes there? In that case, you can rest easy, Hunter. There is no source to be found here. Only the glory of Immaculate. Why, it's Silver Glen, of course. Once the abode of miners, now the abode of the faithful. We have traded the search for silver for the pursuit of divinity. I'm sure this sounds strange in what our strangers' ears, but... You must know that but a short while ago, a frightful sickness spelled us by the dozen until she who speaks for the goddess brought us a cure. Hmm. She showed us how we may overcome the frailty and even the decrepitude of our mortal bodies. That is why we now live a life of devoutness and civility, so that we may become immaculate. But I suggest you talk to Father Loic if you want to learn more about the ways of the goddess. Be welcome, therefore, to Silver Glen. Blessed be all immaculate. <coughs> okay. The 
world is not immaculate as yet. They seem to be a Beware. 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 Seem being the operative word. It's me. Let's remain oh. vigilant. Source Hunter, you've made it into the hamlet of Silver Glen, I see. Unnerving spot, don't you find? Leandra has fashioned herself a hero here, but the townsfolk don't seem to know the truth behind the conduit, though they call themselves Immaculates. They're thick as trout, if you ask me and unnaturally obsessed with ancient teachings. I haven't seen Leandra here myself, but she must have put on quite a show of magical mastery to enthrall a crowd of shaggy miners, to have them hop on the bandwagon of a shadowy religion wholly alien to them. Haven't you heard them whisper of the blood? How their eyes shine when they discuss certain stellar stones? Star stones, of course, which drenched in blood become blood stones and are used in healing rituals. Mm. Now, I can see how it could be a fantastic thing to nurse a dying human back to health if all it takes is to sacrifice a toad. But I spy bloodlust in these people's eyes. A bloodlust that goes beyond the usual meaning of the word. They all act like they're following a benign goddess that will lead them to paradise. But I'll be a dappled Dalmatian if any of that is true. I've been shadowing the local priest, a man by the name of Loik. I have the feeling he knows more than most in Silver Glen. Hmm. For I've followed him in the night when he meets with cloaked strangers and goblins even. Mangoth, Hyberheim. Of strange things I've heard him whisper. Yes, this priest has shady goings on written all over that smug, holier than thou face of his. But we must start at the beginning, Source Hunter. The White Witch is still at large. If we want to get to the true heart of Leandra's doings, we must start with her sister. And she's far likelier to be in her cabin among the trees than here among Leandra's followers. The advantage of being a puss, <coughs> my friend, is that one can pussyfoot. A white-haired wizard draws attention, but a cat can move about unnoticed and, indeed, unseen. There's a point there. Not that I'm not extra wary of these bloodsuckers, though. There's a conspicuous absence of pets in this eerie little town. The Immaculate's presence here is highly disconcerting. But we mustn't lose sight of our mission, Source Hunter. The White Witch resides somewhere in the wilds of the surrounding forest, and we must find her. All right. Welcome be, O oh seeking souls, to this holy house of Immaculates. I am Loic, enlightened one among Immaculates, spokesman for the Holy Conduit, as she is spokesman for the goddess herself. Hers is the blood. Then it shall be my pleasure to answer them. We are the chosen ones of the goddess. The benedictions of the blood render our bodies and spirits unblemished, for such is her mercy that we may all become part of the sacred soul. And you too, Seeker, could become one such part. Okay. You find yourself in the goddess's temple. Therefore, it follows she wants you to take the true path. So here, have this hallowed tome. Read it, absorb the wisdom within, then find the second part and do with it the same. If an immaculate you want to be, a test of knowledge shall be your first step towards enlightenment. Do you hold it to be true, O Seeker, that you are ready to be tested? A most sacred trio of queries shall I put before thee, but even if thou falterest but a single time, 
unworthy will thou be deemed of the goddess's love. Your unpreparedness disappoints me. But an immaculate is not born, he is made. Made you may yet be, through study, devotion, and diligence. Hmm. The conduit, yes. She, the most exalted of all, second only to the goddess. It was she who brought us first her divine words, then her divine will, a will made real in blood. Truly, though, she is quite beyond your concern, O wandering soul. She stands so very high above your humble station. The goddess is the light and life of all. Corrupt is the world that generations of men and beasts have left behind. But immaculate it may be once more, cleansed in the blood of the unworthy. The few, the proud, the enlightened, theirs will be her kingdom. When red has run until no red is left, a paradise we will have shapen, and the goddess will dwell among us. Diligently will I read the words of the goddess. Immaculate I want to be. The blood of the lost will flow. Let me spill blood for thee, O oh, <coughs> one. How long is this book? Okay, cool. Alright. Let's go somewhere and read this in peace. Alright. The first book of the Immaculates. Though the Tenebrium made the miners ill, though the rot plagued them, they would be saved. The conduit came bearing a shard of starstone and demonstrated that by sacrificing a lesser being, a small duckling, she could turn starstone into bloodstone. The stone was capable of healing any ailment, including the terrible rot. Though some were skeptical that sacrificial magic could be used for good. The conduit explained that transmitting energy from a lesser being to a greater one restores balance in the universe, and that balance is the goddess's ultimate goal. The conduit then encouraged the healed miners to spread her good word and to continue to create bloodstones for the purpose of promoting the greater good of higher beings. Today we immaculate continue to promote universal balance and the sacrifice of lesser creatures for the greater of good. Okay. That's a bit, um, wow. I don't know how I feel about that, but whatever then. So let's explore town. Uh, let's see what is here. News from the mines. No news, sir. Goblins will slice us to ribbons if we approach the bridge. Unacceptable. I want those goblins out of my mind by yesterday. Send another man. As many as it takes. We haven't enough men among us to take on even a few of them, sir. Are you deaf? I said I want the problems out. Make it happen, even if you have to fear Drexis yourself. The seven grants abundance. Another perfect heist. You sneak with the subtlety of a tried and true cat burglar. No doubt about it. Your easy-going sleight of hand impresses me greatly and will certainly continue to be highly advantageous to us both. Oh, no bonuses? Damn. Nothing worth it. A source hunter! My needs I am at your disposal. I am Lawrence. 
a representative of the mining guild responsible for operations in Silver Glen. Please, valiant hunter, let us know how we can assist you. Please, your grace, I am completely at your disposal. Oh, I am no one special. Merely a humble servant. My only cause for complaint, your grace, are these awful goblins. They're starving us out, refusing even a single honest miner his right to work. Perhaps, perhaps my most upright highness, you might be able to help us with this little problem. You must forgive me if I become somewhat overcome when discussing it, my liege. To uh, think how uh. I've been betrayed. To think how the humble miners of Silver Glen suffer. I invited a tribe of goblins to assist us in clearing the tenebrium from our mine, you see. The leader of the troop, a certain spitting Satan named Drexis, promised to clear the tenebrium and be gone. When the job was done, though, he and his band of totem brain fiends refused to vacate. They've kept close guard of the bridges to the mine since, and they'll slice whoever dares approach them into ribbons. These well, that's still fun. Follow Drexis like lemmings, your grace. And if only I could undo the traitor, they'd slither back to the swamp they crawled from. Drexus's head on my mantle would save countless miners from a slow starvation, my liege. What's one goblin over countless disenfranchised workers? Hmm, he has a point. He has a point. Well, uh... The initiation. We might be able to join the Immaculate Nice. Goblin trouble. He wants to head for his mantle. Cool. I don't mean to make trouble where there ain't any comrade, but in my years of hunting source, I learned that anyone so eager to climb into your lap after a moment's meeting is hiding something they hope you won't discover. I'm not saying this Lawrence character is involved in sorcery, but it wouldn't exactly surprise me a lick to find out he knows more than he's letting on. Warms my heart to picture him squirming about plain as day with three seasoned source hunters on his tail. Nowhere to hide his sniveling mug than at the bottom of a burlap sack. For once, she could be onto something, but you never know. Have a good time. You believe in the gods, baby, because you're the answer to all my prayers. What the fudge? Pickaxe Tavern, huh? Nice. The book is flowing in the air. I have proof. Minor. Raise all miners. Oh, hey, Paul. This is booming year. Business is booming year round now that the. What is this? Ah. Oh, dear, dear, dear. You'll hardly impress the conduit with such a clouded look about your eyes. But not to fear, not to fear. I've just the potion for that. Ah, oh, thank oh. You haven't any ale, have ya? Well, never mind for now. What sort of wires can I offer ya? Blessed by the goddess they are, each and all. Fudge that dude. Breakfast, please. Can I 
I'll get your hand. I'll have a glass of wine, please. Coming right up. Alright, what is upstairs? I said, what's in these? Oh, there's a hatch. Hey, stop that. Ah, uh, they saw me. Hold on. What is down here? Huh. Does anything seem different now? Well, there has to be a way in there, right? Yeah, no, there is a way in there. Does anything seem different? Hmm. I wonder what that did. There is a way in there, but... Hmm. I wonder what that did. So this is a doorway, but it's not, like, visible. Now to find out what effect that had. Huh. Oh, there's stairs somewhere else. Okay. Now to find out what effect that had. Yeah, we can't go through there. But that's clearly a doorway. I don't know. What about over... So the other stairs are... Over there. So is it this building here? Oh well, heck dude, nice. Nice, so we actually fell in a furnace. Nadia's shop, okay. Pick the lock. Now it's not anymore. So... Is this not it? Okay, I guess not. I thought it was. But I'm wrong. Interesting. Huh. <clears throat> I don't know. Weird. I am confused by that one. I need to try on. 
So the fuse comes back on, okay. Well then. Oh, I did not, I did not know that. Okay, well. I didn't think you'd be so easily phased. Get it together. No, no, we'll do as I say, and there's an end to it. Princess keep her trap shut, or picky boom. Blue fox, shoot, or picky boom. Black warning, or picky boom. No. We do this, and then we do that. And then what we do is we just do that. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You saved my life. It was that cur of a Frederick that did this to me. He locked me in here with that, with that ridiculous creature. Dear me, I need to get out of this room. Yes, I'll go downstairs to catch a breath of fresh air. But do come and talk to me again if you want to hear more about what transpired here. My thanks once more, sweet hero. So. Well then. Gold. Yeah, why not? 25 armor rating, huh? What do we have equipped right now? I mean, shoot, we could, no, 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 no. We could take that. I don't play nice with um, Picky Boom Boom because he's a deuce nugget. There must be some way to open this. Oh, of course there is. <laughs> of course there is. <laughs> ah! I got baited. What's over here? Open the door and let's see what is here. Moonstone. Deck of cards, huh? Well. I mean, not mind if I do. Shoot, dude. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey. Eh. Eh. Nothing worth it. Nice. Well, then. This was fun. So we're looking for Frederick. Do -do -do. Do, 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 do
Come hither, sweetheart. Oh, if I had a star for every time you brighten my day, I'd have a galaxy in my hand. Why don't you stay a while, darling? I do Hassat and Where the wind blows, the goddess breathes. Ah. Where the rivers run, the goddess weeps. How can I tornado to our eternal goddess, my friend? Dude. That removes surfaces from battle, reveals invisible. Nether swap makes two characters switch places. Oh, wow. Her greatness gave us fire, her greatness gave us earth, and my savvy brings you spells at the best rate in town. Come, give me your best. Oh god, no. That's like a oh crap card. No. Oh, that's even better than, um, Poison Dart. Oh, dang, dude. Tectonic Spray. An oil surface has chance to petrify. Oh, dang. And it also does oil. Creates an oil surface. 45 degree cone. That's 7 meters long. Oil surface and has a chance to petrify. That's better than um, the earth, the rock drop one. Yeah, I'll be buying that to try it out because why not? Uh, that one sounds like fun. Tell me, sweetie, do you have someone? Or are you always this kind? Source hunter, are you? What brings you to this neck of the woods? Uh, let's go to. Actually, no, hold up. So this one, yeah, one meter range. Okay, hold up now. Uh, tectonic spray. Skill. This one. Now, how do I? Oh, yeah. So, that's just actions. Unlearn. Yes. Let's just unlearn that one because I want to see this from right here real quick. I'm curious. I want to see how this one works. Okay. So it's a close range attack, but that's fine. Let's go somewhere where there are no NPCs or anything else at all and do it. Of 
Oh, and it actually summons. That's cool. What's the cooldown on it? Okay. So that one, it, yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. I, I think I'll like that one. I really do. The world is not immaculate as yet, friend. Be wary. Be vigilant. All right. I'm going to put a point in. Let's just do intelligence. Yeah. Uh, let's do Dex. And then, uh, yeah, let's just do that. There we go. Cool. And I'm going to go ahead and put a save in the game here. And a cut in the video as well. If you all enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more, and I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.